Josh Schmitzenstein, but you can call me Schmitty. Also, you may call me Schmitty. <laughs> Our whole lives have been leading up to this moment. Don't ruin it. <laughs> this is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is, what would make baseball more entertaining to watch? Okay, pick your favorite. Okay, next one. Something that would make an awful hat. Vote on your devices. A good name for a dog country singer. Time to vote. is something they will probably never make a series of commemorative stamps for. Next in line, come up with a catchier, more marketable name for the Bible. Coming up next, the name of a cable network that no one watches. It's voting time. Next up, an inventive way to get rid of head lice. <laughs> 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 
Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Start this show. First up, a good sign that you may be a ghost. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, what aliens do with you after the anal probe. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. The weirdest thing you can buy at the Vatican gift shop. Time to vote. Another name for Toe Jam. It's voting time. up next what Adam thought when he first met Eve vote on your devices next in line the name of a really bizarre diet that just never caught on. Time to vote. And next, 
the absolute best place to hide your house key. <laughs> Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Your prompt is... Your first decree after being named Supreme Ruler of the Earth. Okay, in this round, you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores.
Schmitty. That's spelled S-C-H Mitty. <laughs> Remember, there is nothing between you and victory but your own brain. So, uh, yeah. Hey, somebody's got to win, right? Remember, anyone who wants to join the audience can do so at any time by logging in with the room code. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. The first prompt is the secret to a great marriage. Okay, pick your favorite. Really pisses off a ghost. It's voting time. Next one, a weapon that should be added to the game Clue. Time to vote. Next up, a double rainbow doesn't have gold at the end of it. Instead, it has blank. Vote on your devices. And next is, why should you never turn your back on a penguin? Time to vote. Coming up next, something that should never be homemade.
next in line, a terrifying fortune cookie fortune. It's voting time. Okay, next one. A fun outfit to dress up the statue of David in. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, here we go. First one, a prank the Supreme Court justices probably play on each other. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. one the worst thing to find stuck in your teeth time to vote So, how do you like it? Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a brand name for a medication that intentionally causes male impotence. It's voting time.
You should always wear a helmet when blank. Time to vote. Next in line, come up with the name of a country that doesn't exist. Vote on your devices. Best part about being Donald Trump. It's voting time. Next in line, everyone knows there's no such thing as blank. Vote on your devices. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is the best use for a leftover meatball. Alright, we're ready. Okay, in this round you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out.
That's all. Now for the final scores. Time for a ride on the Quiplash Wagon. Let's see who we got. All right, good group. Now remember, if Gandhi were alive, this is exactly what he would be doing right now. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
start this show. Our first prompt is the best way to tell if a tomato is ripe. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Okay, next one. In the future, scientists discover that the secret to eternal youth is blank. Time to vote. Next up, a little-known nickname for New Orleans. Vote on your devices. Next one, one thing you never do on a first date. It's voting time. Coming up next, the worst name for a racehorse. Time to vote. is something that's been hiding in the background in every episode of Friends. Next in line, name a TV drama that's about a vampire doctor. Next one, a quick way to save money on grocery bills. Vote on your devices. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. The drama.
Let's take a look. First up, name a new reggae band made up entirely of chickens. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. up what robots dream about it's voting time Coming up next, the worst ringtone for a cell phone. Time to vote. A strange poster to hang in a college dorm room. It's voting time. Okay, next one. HR would probably get the most complaints on Bring Your Blank to Work Day. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, the name of an all-male version of Hooters. Next one, what's in the box? What's in the box? Time to vote. Next is the name of a painting Michelangelo was ashamed he created. It's voting time. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prop this time. The last lash prompt is... What John Goodman's belches smell like.
Okay, soak it in. Give out your votes now. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. 